community meeting for our North Beach Street and um, Basswood Boulevard intersection improvements project. Um, as part of this project, we will be reconfiguring the turn lanes and adding turn lanes on all four legs of the intersection. We'll also be reconstructing the accessible curb ramps at the four corners. Then we'll be installing new traffic signals all around the intersection. And then we'll be restropping and adding new signs all around the intersection. So design of the project is 100% complete and we've advertised the project and bid the project and hired a contractor, McClendon Construction. And now we're ready to start building the project. So my name is Chad Allen. I'm a senior professional engineer in the capital delivery division of TPW at the city of Fort Worth. Also on the call tonight with me is the city's project manager, Iskal Shrestha. We also have folks from our design engineering company and folks from the contractor um, in the meeting. I believe we have some folks from our construction office too. And then finally, um, council member Carrie Moon is on the call and also um, Alicia Ortiz in, in the council member's office. So Iskal is about to do, go ahead. All right, thank, thank you, Chad. Um, again, um, good evening, attendees, community members, project team, and council member Gary Moon. My name is Paul Preston. And this, project, this, project, this meeting is for pre construction community engagement meeting for Beach Street and Basswood intersection improvement project, city project number 101582. Today is April 19, 2021. It's about 6.05 PM. The agenda for today's meeting is I'm going to give you a brief description of the project background and its purpose, project funding, project schedule, and at the end of the presentation, uh, we will take, uh, we will answer any question that you may have regarding this project. Before I move forward with the meeting agenda, I'd like to introduce the uh, pro, um, project team of this project. Uh, today we have uh, Mark Spears and Peter Su. Uh, they are the engineer of record for this project, and they are with Pape Dawson Engineers. And uh, from city construction office, we have Riley Robertson. He's going to be city inspector for this project. And we also have Justin Blair. Uh, he's the McClendon. Uh, he's with McClendon Construction. He's going to be the contractor's project manager for this project. The project background, the first uh, item in the agenda is project background and purpose. Um, this project is located in council district number four at the intersection of North Beach Street and Basswood Boulevard. The scope of the project includes full signal modifications and adding a dual left turn Lane on all leg of the intersection. This project intends to create a cost-effective solution to improve efficiency while increasing the visibility, safety, and traffic flow. This project also aligns with the city's goal to improve the mobility and air quality. Now I'm going to talk about the existing condition. I will talk on, on to two different terminology. One is going to be the lane configuration. Another one would be the traffic anal analysis. At first, I will talk about the lane configuration. A bad, uh, existing condition, the Basswood Boulevard, both eastbound and westbound, has a two through lane and one left turn lane. Beat Street uh, northbound has a three through lane, one left turn lane, and one right turn lane. And the southbound has a three through lane, two left turn lane, and one right turn lane. And we also did the traffic analysis as part of the project and traffic an analysis concluded that the AM peak hour intersection level of service is D with the control delay of 52 seconds per vehicle. That's in the morning. At the evening peak hour, um, intersection level of service is even worse. That's with the 59 seconds per vehicle. And the study concluded that for the left turn, left turn movement is contributing to the delay at the intersection. 
Now I'm going to talk about the proposed improvements, again, in two, two terms, uh, lane configuration and traffic an analysis. As far as the lane configuration goes, uh, through lane and right turn lane, we are not making any changes. However, we are adding dual left turn lane on all leg of the intersection. And we will be doing the full signal modification as part of this project. That being said, we will be replacing signal pole, mast am, control equipment, control cabinet, conduit, wiring, things like, things like that nature. And traffic study uh, suggested that after the, after the improvement, um, the AM peak hour intersection level of service is still going to be D. However, the control delay is going to be 38 sec, actually 37 seconds per vehicle, which is 14 second less than uh, 14 second per vehicle less than existing condition. And the PM peak hour intersection level of service will be D, with the control delay of 44 seconds per vehicle which is 15 seconds less than the existing condition. And as part of the, since we are adding the left turn lane um, on all leg of, the, leg of the intersection, we have to remove some of the trees from the existing median. However, we are uh, planting some, uh, about 16 trees on nearby park called Summerfield Park uh, as part of this project. Project funding, uh, this project is funded uh, with the 2018 bond fund and also the impact fee. Uh, project is scheduled, the contractor plans to mobilize tomorrow, and they have 252 calendar days to complete the project. That being said, the, uh, the, the, the project should complete by Dece December of this year. This concludes the presentation. Okay. Please unmute your computer and ask any question that you may have. 1812. Uh, this is Lance Griggs. I got one quick question. Uh, I understand yes, you're, you're going to be developing these uh, left turn lanes by quadrant. In other words, you're going to do one quadrant at a time. Is that correct? That is correct, yes, sir. Based on the, the schedule that's been submitted by the contractor, uh, they, they will be working on uh, Basswood Boulevard first, then, then in the second phase, they will be uh, moving to Beach Street. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Hi, my name is Shannon Tolliver, and I am the director of operations at Gateway Church at the corner of Beach and Basswood. Yes, ma'am. I was just wanting to know. I you said till basically till about December that the construction project will be near us. That is correct. Substantial completion for this project is December of this year. Yes, ma'am. Will this at any time affect any of the access to our parking lots or to the businesses to our um, to our east on beach? I'll try to answer that. Isco. I'm sorry. I was going to say I was going to try to answer that. Is called this is Justin with McClendon. Yeah, go, ahead. Hi, Justin. go ahead. The parking lot should never. Uh, have access blocked. Uh, we're generally just working in the medians, so the driveways to all of the businesses should be open um, at all times. I do believe there's an agreement in place with your church to allow us to use a few of your parking spaces. Yes, sir. Um, but other than that, I don't anticipate anything being blocked. Okay, that's good. Just we um, we use Fort Worth Police Department partners with us. I think okay. Officer Zool is on is on this call. So we were just wanting to see if we needed to make any change in our plans to how we direct traffic at the end of services, et cetera. I don't believe so. Um, are your services typically Saturday and Sundays or do you have any during the week? We have some during the week, but they're not heavily attended enough to need uh, traffic control. Okay. Okay. Our general philosophy is trying not to work on Saturdays. 
and I know the city doesn't allow work on Sunday, so uh, you should be clear. Uh, we should have that in a in a good space for you for for that. But uh, if it's ever a concern, then then obviously we'll address it for you. Okay. And if there is a concern, who would my point of contact be for that? That could be that could be me. Okay. And at some point, uh, maybe you could share your information with me. I sure can. Do you have a phone number or an email I could call you? You know what? I'll put it in the chat just to you. Okay. And then you can answer me back in there if you would like. Sure. Sure. Okay. Thank you, Justin. You're welcome. And uh, this is it, well, I mean, you can you can contact me at any time uh, you like, and I can I can circle back with the contractor. Okay. I'll keep That's both normal. of you as the contact for that. Um, just let us know, and if if something were to change, if we could just get, uh, I'll leave my contact information on here, just an update so that we can prepare our parking teams for any interruptions. Yeah, we'll do. Yes, well, there's a there's a couple good questions in the chat box. I can read those to you if you can't see them. Do you need me to read those to you? Yeah, please. Okay. So these questions, there's two questions. They come from Sabrine Brady. Thank you very much for asking these questions. Number one is, what is being done for the Briarwick Court access to North Beach? Cars are always blocking the intersection, and I assume it is going to be hard to get out. I believe that's the first question. No, can you repeat that question again? Yes, yes, sir. What is being done for the Briarwick Court access to North Beach? Cars are always blocking the intersection, and I assume it is signed to be hard to get out. I'm not sure if that's if I'm um, understanding that question completely. Yeah, I have. I, I need to take a look at this question. Is this question relates to this project or, or outside the footprint of the project uh, project limit? That um, if it is outside. Then I can, uh, I, will, I think, please email me um, your contact information. I will, I will try to uh, either get you the contact of the correct person to get that address. Uh, if not, I'll, I will call you myself back. Um, would you please, uh, we were asked this question, please, uh, can you please either call me um, after, the, after this meeting or email me at, at your convenience, please? It sounds like that this project is outside the uh, limit of this project. Okay, she has another an, she has another question. Will the median stay open to be able to U turn from Basswood eastbound to Basswood westbound? Uh, I would defer this question back to uh, Mark. Mark, would you would you be able to answer that question? He's the engineer of record for this project. Yes, I don't believe you'll be able to U turn in the intersection. Well, this is Lance Griggs with the Summerfield Neighborhood Association. I know where that street is. I think their current backup concern is the backup traffic going westbound on Basswood. This is the street that goes into a neighborhood and it's the only entrance and exit into a little cul-de-sac down in there. And it's right just south of the big church. And basically with the traffic backup we have now, they have difficulty getting out of their neighborhood. And they were wondering, I think if it's gonna be worse by this construction, which I wouldn't think so, but I'm not able to answer that. And oh, the U-turn and the U-turn that you're talking about is the one up at the uh, 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 just just south of the library, right there at the library. I'll try to answer that also. This is Justin again with McClendon. Um, I don't believe the project addresses anything specifically for Briarwick Court, and during construction. There may be times that the, the backup is worse, just given the nature of construction. But hopefully by the end of it, once you have two turn lanes to kind of take that traffic into, hopefully that does help it. I'd have to let the engineers see if there's anything more specific. But I think in general, the idea would be that it would help. Yeah, I think she was just wondering if the backup was gonna be worse and I don't really know of any way to predict that either. Yeah. yeah, generally during construction, traffic gets a little worse, then hopefully it gets better once we're done. And I believe and that we did. Go ahead, it's called. And I was saying, like, I, I know we, we found out from the traffic study that existing condition, the backup of the left turn lane moment was having a lot of condition issue on that uh, through. But however, 
Um, we we are adding a new left turn lane on all leg of the intersection. That 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 issue that you or the, the resident are seeing right now should be um, resolved after the completion of this problem, uh, completion of this project. Yeah, part of the problem those residents on Briarwick are seeing right now is that westbound, excuse me, eastbound <laughs> left turn lane at uh, Basswood is backed up all the way back and goes so far back it hits the straight through lane and blocks the traffic there and everybody starts moving over that right hand lane so it just causes a domino back up at that intersection so they're having troubles right now and uh, what you're going to do is going to help it i know but just uh, i don't know if it'll be any better during the construction and i apologize for my answer on the u-turn mr griggs clarified that we are not closing any medians um, those would be outside the project limits. Uh, I thought it would be. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'll I'll mute myself now. Yes. Hi. This is Officer Rodriguez. I have a quick question. Going back to the gateway uh, intersection, will at any time any of those lanes be reduced down from the current amount of lanes uh, going both westbound from Basswood from Beach towards the intersection towards the highway? Justin, you want to take that question? Yeah, I can. Yes, during the daytime hours between nine and four, uh, it will be reduced to one lane. Whenever we're working on on each quadrant, as it was kind of discussed. Will Will this stay up? Uh, will the reduction stay up during the weekend hours, which is when it's mostly affected by traffic through the big church and you know ongoing traffic in the intersections? No, it should not. Uh, over the weekend, all through lanes should be open again, unless something changes that is unforeseen at this time. Even overnight and in the morning rush hours, both lanes should be open. Creek Fall, which is um, right here, right next to this intersection, is currently undergoing construction and is completely impassable. That road is closed to everyone uh, except those who live on it. Is that going to be completed prior to the beginning of this construction project? Or does anyone know? Is there, there are people who live on, sorry, there, sorry like, for, for example, on Bracken Drive, there's only one way to exit Bracken Drive right now. Um, and so then to, to be able to get out of Bracken Drive and then get on to Basswood and then not be able to leave this neighborhood because Basswood and Beach is under construction, you know, it's, it's going to be a, a terrible inconvenience. Yeah, I would just I'll, say, I'll that go ahead, Isco. Justin, I, I was about to say that the, only the lane closer are allowed for them to close the lane only between 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, um, before and after, typically during rush hour, all the lanes should be open. Uh, number one, and uh, number two, that the, the, uh, this project, the construction is going to begin tomorrow. Um, contractor plans to mobilize uh, mobilize tomorrow for this project. If the, uh, the next project that you are referring to has not completed, then then yes, it. Um, as far as uh, if you want to know a uh, substantial completion of another project, I can I can reach out to the project manager, city project manager, who that is, and then try to get the answer for you. However, uh, I like either you to email me or call me after uh, after this, or you, if you like to share your number, I would love to uh, uh, give you a call tomorrow. Also, the improvements to um, Basswood do not extend down to Creek Fall. Uh, that's outside of the project limits, that intersection. There's another um, question in the chat box, Escal, that we didn't get to earlier, so I can read that now. Um, it's from Randy Acosta, and it says, are you adding existing turn lanes within the existing footprint? Or are you widening the roadways to include the extra lanes? We, we are adding a left turn lane on existing footprint. All we are doing is reducing the median. We are not widening uh, the street uh, footprint. All we are doing is reducing the existing median and adding a lane. Mark, is, is that, do you want to add something to it? Yes, that is correct. The, um, 
the outside edge of the road will remain the same. We're only taking pavement in out of the median. Okay, I think that was answered um, correctly. Here's another one. Can a stop sign be put up at Briarick Court and Basswood during construction? There is a sign that states do not block intersection, but nobody obeys it. Sounds like they're asking to put a stop sign on Basswood. Yeah, at that intersection. Yeah, I, I, I don't have the answer for that. I don't think so because the the, the basswood itself has has a lot of traffic uh, through that those um, that street. Um, but it's something that I mean I don't know who is it from the street services can do something um, from blocking the cross street. But yeah, um, at this point, I, I, I we don't anticipate putting the stop sign on the basswood. What steps will be taken to ensure that this doesn't go way over the uh, timeline allotment like the Beach Street expansion did however many years ago? That's I mean, we do you have a do you want to say something to it? Uh, I mean, my understanding. Go ahead. Would they have 252 calendar dates to, day to complete the project? By we said two two months uh, before they complete. The, if I anticipate, basically, I, what I'm having is monthly meeting right now, monthly monthly progress meeting, on-site progress meeting, and on that I am reviewing. Um, uh, me as a project manager, I'm I'm reviewing their their uh, two-week look ahead, a month month look ahead schedule, and by the say no, November uh, August. September, October, if I see that the project is, is getting delayed, then I might ask contractor to work on either a, a weekends or holiday to make sure that we are we are getting this project on time. Yeah, I think that's really all we can do is, is just maintain and monitor the schedule. Um, there are always unforeseen conflicts at times from different utilities and obviously if we have any severe weather, but um, you know, we'll monitor that and uh, Try to mitigate it as much as possible. Okay, there's no other questions in the chat box. Um, that's all of the chat box questions. Okay. Looks like no one has a question. I think before I close this meeting, uh, Council Member Kerry Moon, do you want to say something to the project team or, or, or the attendees? Um, sure. Just thank you all for for uh, participating. This is, you can see, something you know is as what appears just to be a, a, an improvement to a median can impact you know businesses and residents and churches. And so we appreciate the um, staff being willing to take on those concerns and let's get this thing built. We'll do so. All right, that, uh, that concludes today's presentation. Thank you everyone for attending this meeting. And, and if you have any questions during during construction, just give me a call. Or, or I, will, I will try to get, get, if I don't pick up your call, then I will make sure that I return your call uh, either the same day or, or the next day, sure. Thank you, Escal. Thank you, everyone. Hey. Good work, thank you all. all right. Thank you, good night. Thank you. Oh.